Lisa and Kevin are collaborating on a document together. Lisa made the first draft and uploaded it to their project team site. She asked Kevin to help her by researching some recent sales figures and adding them to the document. Kevin gathers the information and then navigates to the document. He clicks to the right of the document and a drop down appears with some choices. He selects check out and in doing this ensures no one else can edit the document besides himself. He then selects edit. When he's finished, he clicks save and is given the option to check in the document, which he selects, allowing anyone to now see his changes and to add to the document if they wish. Why is it necessary to check in and out a document? Well, say if Kevin was adding his sales figures to the document, but decided he didn't need to check it out. That means that the document is available for anyone else to edit. While Kevin was adding his figures, Lisa might have suddenly remembered an image she needed to add. And seeing as how the document wasn't checked out, would have assumed no one else was working on it and checked it out herself. Added the image and checked it back in. Now Kevin goes to save the changes he made and in uploading his version, he inadvertently writes over the changes that Lisa had made since his version lacks the images she added. This is counterproductive and a waste of time. Checking in and out ensures that only one person works on the document at any one time and that only one person can make changes to it before publishing it for others to see and edit if need be.